All right, welcome everyone to a special edition of Credit Blitz Jade Boom Booms. We are going to be blowing up people's bases with Jade. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to put a cat ship in here as well. Because that also makes boom booms. We're gonna we're gonna try and base kill as much as possible with our with our chem warriors. Half and half, not the best map for base killing. What's the other map in this event? It's like three three lanes, right? Three lanes is okay for base kill. The problem with base kill I find is it takes too long. It's like so slow, man. Like you, you can't really afford to base kill before first missile. You have to wait until the end of the first missile, and like after you've won the first missile, you go for a base kill. And then it doesn't even kill the base anymore. Like it just it's not even that good. Even with a chem warrior and two clouds, you still don't you, you, you don't kill the base enough that you can then cheese it down. Which means you have to bomb the base and then basically get another chem warrior over there and bomb it again. Which is just too much. It's too much of an ask, I think. Like that is too difficult to do in a real game of rivals. You have to be like super dominating to pull it off. I can't even afford another chem warrior because I need to save up the AD for the Jade missile now. Drone swarm. Uh oh. Rip. That's going to make it really difficult. Guess we're going bites. The fact the harvester blocks uh, blocks half of the base is kind of annoying on this map. Oh, here we go. Chem's getting in place. I think two chem warriors should instantly give the base. Oh, that was going to die before the game missile hits, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's close. Close. Doesn't, doesn't kill the base, though. It's low enough that we can cheese it down now. Could send the cat ships. I don't think cat, cat ship base damage got like massively nerfed, right? Like it's actually kind of horrible now. I think it's better just to try and. Well, the bikes have got it covered. I think it's better just to try and jade missile than it would have been to cat ship there. War up against Happy. I hope this isn't the Warcraft Free Pro Happy. He'll probably beat me. I just really want to get to the. It's the same guy. It's just another guy with also level 9 units. Does the other guy have uh, Solomon? I can't remember. Everyone's played Solomon, right? In the low leagues. It just feels bad having to wait so long to go and Jade Missile or something. Like, I want to do it now. I want Jade Missile right away. I think it must be the same guy. He has the drone swarms as well. Go get him, Chem Warrior. You can do it. If you can leave the Chems there for a while, they will actually do reasonable damage to the base. So if your opponent doesn't interact with them, it is better just to wait. You can see how much damage you can get from the Chem Warriors on the base. Alright, we're gonna see if we can Jade Missile to death now. We're gonna need a few Jade Missiles. I designed this missile myself. Alright, I think one more. One more Jade Missile ought to do it. Just a casual, what is that, 300 Tiberium? Send to the base. Oh, 
Three Jade Missiles plus a Chem Warrior. 300 to be fair is not like that much Tiberium in a game of rivals. It's not like you're breaking the bank by losing 300. Oh shit. Iron Cannon, Solomon's Cheats. Get him! Get him, Jade! Ah, I designed this missile myself. Objective complete. Maybe we should go double harvester. Double harvester missile spam. New mission received. It was level 9 to level 10, one more missile. I don't know, to be honest with you. Maybe. I might try going double harvester and just throwing like missiles at the base and see what happens. See if that's like completely terrible. That's what people used to do. But they used to like you win first missile and then you just go double harvester and throw missiles and units at the base. It was a very that was back when Jade was like way better though. I remember when I did a challenge once where I had to iron cannon a person's base to death. Like that was the only way I was allowed to damage their base was iron cannon. I wasn't even allowed to win the missile in the middle. It's so difficult. You have to iron cannon like six, five or six times or something crazy. You just you just run out of money. You run out of money so hard. You actually like run out of time as well. It's pretty difficult to get iron cannon cooldown like six times in one game. This is kind of awkward. I don't think that Chuggy's gonna die. Yeah, I felt like I was gonna live. Kinda sad. Let's see if we actually make enough money to do this. Wow, that is pathetic. Okay, that is not that is not a viable strategy. <laughs> that is that does nothing. That does literally nothing to the base. That is definitely not a thing we can do. Catch if I guess. If I get a, obviously I can do a lot more damage if I get the, uh, if I can get a, a chem warrior there. This feels like it's not a winning strategy though. Oh, I killed my own cat ship. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, that was a real bad idea. <laughs> that does so little damage. I was actually like shocked at how little a Jade Missile did to his base. That was comically small. I also like, I was surprised by how little money I had. I thought with the two harvesters I'd be able to like throw more stuff out there. But actually, just kind of, kind of broke and doing no damage to the base. So yeah, we're not doing that again. That was uh, that was not ideal. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you explain what is happening right now? Like the black razor's sex tape. <laughs> Savage. Normally this deck would play Phantom in the slot of the cat ship. Oh, it's like a second harvester to me. Man, I miss when Jade was just like an auto win against double harvester decks. Those were the days, man. You literally like you just your opponent would lose first missile because they were two harvester, and then you just blow up their base, and the game would be over. And there was like nothing they could do about it. Those were good times. <laughs> I kind of want to do cat ship plus chems a little bit instead of jade. I want to see if I can kill the base with that combo. It's going to be tough though because I have to get through venoms. Getting through venoms is going to be hard. I have, st I have stealth tank. Okay. Maybe that's the that's probably the play. Our base is under attack. Where's a Widowmaker? Can I kill this with a ca chem capture combo? Let's find out. It looks like the answer is yes, but close. I can, in fact, win it with that combo, but it's close. Jade gives you outs. <laughs> Jade OP. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New mission received. 
Alright, we're gonna try and camel catch up the base this time. That's the game plan. Wheel opening. I remember when chems could beat wheels 1v1. Those were the days. I wonder if they still do. They might still win 1v1, but like they get pretty trashed by a 10 cost unit. It used to be that like you couldn't beat chem warriors. Like if your opponent just made a bunch of chem warriors, you couldn't win with wheels. Gavin, yeah. Uh oh. I don't know if the missiles are close to firing. I don't think we have time to get on the pad. Unless he just lets us. He just lets us walk on and make it easier. Alright, that was generous of him. Since he could have just locked us out pretty easily. Alright, let's get a catch up and make this dream a reality. I should probably kill this first, right? <laughs> this random flamer on my base should probably kill that. Rip my cat ship, bro. on the base, let's go. It's not going as quickly as I'd like, it's actually kind of slow. It's actually pretty terrible, isn't it? Kind of sad. Alright, let's finish it off with a Jade Missile. <laughs> See you later, Bob Jim. See you later, my guy. All right, there we go. We got some jade bomb bombs. Did some jade base killing. A little bit disappointing on the old uh, trying to double halve one. That did not work out. But I hope you guys had fun with that one, and I'll see you all next time.